Have you ever wondered why we give beta blockers in heart failure? I mean, these drugs decrease contractility, right? So it doesn't make a lot of sense giving them to patients with already weak hearts, or does it? Well, it does, and the reason is actually because of these guys, the coronaries. You see, the coronaries have a problem, which is that they travel mostly inside of the myocardium. And that's an issue because every time the heart contracts to pump up the blood, they also squeeze their own arteries. Wait, does that mean that the heart only receives oxygen like half of the time? Mm, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And you know what? Uh, that time actually shortens whenever your heart rate increases because in tachycardia or in whatever increased heart rate state, the proportion of the time spent in diastole has to be reduced in order to accommodate the more frequent contractions. And so this is where we get to the core of the issue. When a patient has heart failure, one of the compensatory mechanisms that activate is an increase in heart rate. This is the body's way of trying to keep everything afloat, but it's also kind of like putting a band-aid over a sinking ship. It controls things temporarily, but long-term it accomplishes nothing. And in fact, the long-term effect of this is a reduction in total diastolic time. And as you now know, that decreases cardiac perfusion. Oh, I got it. So by giving beta blockers, we keep the heart rate down. And that's good because that maximizes time in diastole where the coronaries are wide open and thus we ensure optimal cardiac perfusion. And that's good because that helps keep the heart as healthy as possible. Exactly. And of course, there are other mechanisms involved, but understanding this key piece of information makes you comprehend, for example, why drugs like Evabradine also work in heart failure, because by simply decreasing the heart rate, they improve heart perfusion. But hey, if you want to learn more about beta blockers, what they do, how they work and how to use them, make sure to check out this video by Professor Alpert in our YouTube channel. See you guys in the next one.